Hello! Hi, everybody! Uh, thanks for anybody that might be tuning in here in a moment. I am about to start streaming uh, something a little different here. This here is actually a game I'm building. I'm using the program RPG Maker VX Ace to do this. Now at the moment it's what they call uh, RTP. Basically everything is the original texture maps and music and sounds and all that that came with the program. Um, just doing this for now to play through, get a feel for the gameplay, get everything built, make sure it works right. And uh, once that's done, then I'll be going in and purchasing some, uh, some premium texture maps and switching out all the graphics and all the audio for something a little more uh, permanent. But a uh, little background here. Uh, basically what this is, is this is your, uh, your typical, your old school RPG, uh, kind of similar to something you'd find on the old Super Nintendo or maybe even the Nintendo back in the day. Uh, it's, a, it's a fantasy RPG. There's no, uh, no steampunk or sci-fi or anything like that in it. It's pure fantasy. And, uh, well... I guess that's about all there is for the background to it. So, uh, without further ado, let's get going in here. Now, I wish there was a way to window this, but the only real way I can uh, bring this up to a full window would be to get rid of my face cam. And that might not actually be a bad idea. Why don't we go ahead and do that? Do that there. Let's see if I can adjust this. Uh, hmm. Get the screen. Oh, it's already done that. Uh, huh. That doesn't want to let me play with that any. Hmm. Well, apparently I can't. I can't resize that. So, we're going to make do. We'll pop my face back up here. Hi. And let's get going in the game here. Okay. As we start out, and my chair's going down. Oh, I hate it when it does that. Okay. <laughs> so we start out here. Speed up. Greetings. I am the Sage Kisai. That's how I pronounce it, yeah. I document all events here on Regloff, from the fall of the martyrs and their subsequent rise into divinity, to the events taking place today, I see all. Many fantastic events have happened in my long lifetime, some that even the gods themselves never saw coming. I might change up that dialogue a little bit, but... One such event began with the chance meeting of two strangers. And the game starts. Hey. Hey. Hey, you. Five more minutes, Mom. Hey, get out of the way. You're blocking the dock. Wait, what? And here we have our main character. You mind moving? Some of us have places to be. What the? Where am I? Where's my barracks? How did I get here? How should I know? Go ask a sage. Maybe they'll know. A sage? Like an old wise man? What would I find one of those? <sighs> How are you? I checked that big tower up north. Looks like someone's still living there. Chances are they'd know something. Thanks, I appreciate it. My pleasure. Now, could you please move? I'd like to get off this dock before it falls out from under me. Oh yeah, sorry. Good luck. Sounds like you're going to need it. Thanks, I guess. Now, where the heck am I? And now we can control the character. Now, one thing I put in here is I made sure that these roads are safe passage. That little patch of green that I stepped onto there is not. 
but the roads are safe. There's no monsters, there's no fights, there's no encounters anywhere on these, no matter how much you run around. But as soon as you step off, there's a chance that you'll run into a random encounter. So uh, for now, since we start with... Oh yeah, by the way, our name is Ralph. That is not a play on the built-in character that came with RPG Maker. There's one in there called Ralph. Uh, this character I actually created way back in like 1990 or 91. And uh, his name has always been Ralph. It's been Ralph Whitaker is his full name. And uh, I don't want to give you any history on him because that'll give away too much. But uh, when you start... You have literally nothing. No equipment whatsoever. No money, no nothing. You s literally start... Well, you're not naked, obviously, but you start with nothing. So you gotta basically forage and find all your stuff. But first, we're gonna follow that guy's advice. And go up into the tower. And here we have somebody blocking the door. Hello, can I help you? Uh, yeah, some guy in armor said I might be able to find a sage here. That would be my teacher. May I ask what this is in regards to? Well, one moment I was in my barracks, and the next I was waking up on the ground next to the docks just south of here. I have no idea how I got there. I was hoping to get some answers from your teacher. That is an interesting predicament. Very well. Sir Thomas is upstairs. I shall accompany you. And poof, we have our first party member. Ah, get away from me! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you stop following me? No, no, I keep you. You're creeping me out, man. Ah, fine. Ugh. But anyways, once we do that, we pop the party, and there he is. We have Maxwell, the wizard. Obviously an elf by his appearance. And he has stuff. But sadly, none of that stuff he has can be used by our main character. So, wouldn't do any good to try and swap equipment because you can't use any of it. So instead, we go up here. Now I did try to make a bunch of stuff interactive. Not everything is, like you can't interact with the bags of grain or the little swords that are hanging on the wall here, you know. And there's no point in interacting with any of these little food crates. Although I might add in some flavor text there. We have a plaque here, however. There's a note posted here. Maxwell, make sure to check the scrying gas for uh, nah, make sure to check the scrying glass for flaws. We don't want a repeat of the last incident, do we? Last incident? Please don't ask. <laughs> I honestly have no idea what happened. I just put that in there for a little fun. Alright, and we have what looks like a little library. Nice library. It's been a while since I've seen this many books in one place. Yes, Sir Thomas is quite proud of his collection of tomes. And, you want to you wander around here, walk up to this stack of scrolls, and scrolls are beyond your understanding. <gasps> you mean the warrior can't read magic? Oh, oh no. <laughs> We have several books on ornithology. Birds? Really? Everyone has a hobby. <laughs> and then here we have books detailing the history of the region. No time for these now, maybe later. And over here we have various magical tomes. Obviously can't read those either. Books detailing some of the local plant life. And up the stairs. Next room. Uh, I might add in some stuff here so you can interact with those. And uh, At the moment you can't really do anything in here but look around. So, yeah. May add some stuff in there, I'm not quite sure. Anyways, only one bed? Yes, I don't actually live here. I only come to learn from St. Thomas. Ah, okay. The stairs again. And here we have Sir Thomas. But first, let's explore. It appears to be an ancient map of some sort. Jaws are empty. 
The labels on these are too faded to read. Kind of makes you wonder what happens with the uh, the guy that owns the place. So, like, if they're too faded to read, how does he know what's in them? Mm. Various potions and tonics. Yeah, we'll talk to him in a moment. Various unlabeled jars. Again, unlabeled. Oh, wow, I didn't think that would work. Okay. Well, hello there. What can I do for you? This traveler has an interesting problem he believes you can solve, sir. Well, that's all I know so far. Did the old school trick of saving time, uh, the fade out, and basically assume he says everything to the guy when it's faded out. Yeah, yeah. I see, that is quite a predicament. Let me try something. Poof. Interesting. It isn't a memory loss spell as I first thought. There's some sort of strange dimensional energy surrounding you. Honestly, I've never seen the like. Truly, sir? Maxwell, even I have limits to my knowledge. Is there anything you can tell me? Hmm. Well, there is a sage I've heard of by the name of Joshin. He supposedly studies dimensional gateway spells. Perhaps he holds some answers. Worth a shot, I suppose. Where can I find this Joshin? I believe he was headed east to Nuon Mountain. Maxwell here can show you the way, right? Of course, sir. You might want to stop by Chulash first to stock up. It's a small village just south of the dock you woke up at. Sounds like a plan to me. Come on, Max. It's Maxwell, actually. Typical stuck-up elf, you know. I need to add something to him because uh, you can't interact with him after that. And, you know, your good old-school RPG, generally, they'd turn around and be like, So how's it going? Or, you learn anything yet? Or, you know, something like that. So, uh, now we'll go ahead and travel back out of this tower. Head on out. Now, we're going to follow this guy's advice. Because for safety's sake, uh, you have no equipment whatsoever at the moment. So really all you can do is fight stuff with your bare hands. Not a good idea to try that right away. So we're going to go to town. Chulash. Excuse me. Uh, okay. Hello, traveler. Welcome to Chulash. Alright. I might add some more people wandering around. For now, I just have those two. But, uh, since we're going to uh, basically pretend I don't know the game. Check out everything. Now I honestly, the way that door works, I don't like the way you step onto it. I wish there was a way to kind of go under it. Not quite sure how you'd manage that though. But in any case, talk to her. My, you're a tall one. Around here. Nothing but clothing. I can't exactly wear women's clothing. Well, I, you could, but as she said, he's tall. So. Go on over to this one. Got this old guy in here. Come to visit an old man in his home, eh? Awfully nice of you. And looking around and go up here. That's not interactive. I always forget which ones I've done that with. Uh, don't have to make everything in this object clickable, but it'd be kind of, or everything in the game, but it'd be kind of cool to do that. Might add some more scripts in there. We have, a, have an old couple here. Honey, we have visitors! Hello there. Why are we snooping through, snooping through someone's belongings? It's a good question that nobody ever asks. You ever notice most of these games when you play them, they're all like, Yeah, come on in, go ahead, root through my stuff, I don't care. <laughs> and here we have this person. What, a guy can't have a pink bed? <laughs> I just decided to do that. And this is just a wash basin, so there's not really any point in interacting with that. Here we have 
Can't talk. Too busy exercising. Everybody that's played the other RPG Maker projects might recognize this guy. That is your lead hero, Eric, from the uh, RTP setup. But I just decided to stick him in here as a cameo. A little ornate helmet. Beautiful set of armor. Found five antidotes. We finally have something. Unfortunately, it's only going to do us any good if we get poisoned, and we're trying to avoid something like that. So, let me go here. Interesting. Why are you in my home? Me. And the tablet is etched with mystic runes. We'd better not mess with magic runes. Good advice. The map is labeled Rayglaw. Obviously, you're meant to be looking that way. <laughs> I'm going to have to fix that. Maybe move that potion down a notch so it's not near the map. Stack of old maps. This guy really likes his maps. Various magical books. Various potions and elixirs. Nothing but a lot of interacting in here. And we have a tent. Hey, that guy looks familiar. Hello again. You seem more awake. Now you have an elf tagging along. My name is Maxwell. Pleased to meet you. Maxwell? That's an odd name for an elf. You part human? No, I was named after an old family friend that my father knew. Fascinating. Anyways, take it your... Your visit to the wizard went well, Stretch? It says wizard. I need to change that. Ralph. And yes, it did. He told me I need to head west to someplace called Nuam Mountain. Wait, Nuam? Yeah, supposedly there's some sort of saves there that might have answers on how I got here. Interesting coincidence. That's where I'm heading, too. Really? Why's that? Well, there's supposed to be an orc infestation there. I'm not a big fan of orcs. Seems like we have a common destination. Max has a point. Care to join forces? Why not? We can kill more orcs that way. Oh yeah, I never did catch your name. It's Marshawn. Marshawn is actually, um, back when I was in high school, he was the first character I made for Dungeons and Dragons. And back then, it was the second edition Dungeons & Dragons, which the rules on that is a nightmare. But, uh... What are doing here? I'm just wandering around now. But yeah, he was the very first character I made, and it was a fun time, actually, back then. I had all my buddies and all that. Kind of nostalgic. I might actually go into this and change out the, uh, the set rules on this have them starting out with like, you know, hundreds of hit points and doing a ton of damage and all that. Ugh, excuse me. That's mostly because the monsters have like hundreds if not thousands of hit points themselves. Ugh. Wow, sorry. I don't know, I had a good sleep. But, uh, I'm thinking I might actually go in and retool this so that those uh, points match up more with uh, like a traditional Dungeons and Dragons. So, that, like, Ralph here would only have maybe 10 or 15 hit points starting out. Uh, Maxwell there would be in a bit of trouble because he'd only have about 6 or 7 hit points. So, that would be rough. But, uh. But, yeah. So, there's that. Anyways, moving on here. Here we have an inn. Yeah, one of those rooms. Welcome to my humble inn. It's 10 gold for a night's stay. Would you like a room? Yes, I would! You don't have any money. Oh, yeah, crap. Sorry, I'll be back. Alright, moving on. Here we have shops. Those won't do me any good without money. Let me start exploring some more houses. We have here. A little blue haired person. Hello. Hi. I'm doing what I think you noticed when we took any of this. Always gotta be the good guy, huh? Nice hat. Alright. 
right then. Nothing of use in there. How about in here? Yes? Was there something you wanted? Nope, 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 nope. Beautiful day, isn't it? Aha! Alright, go here. Jeez, mister, you're tall! <laughs> okay, maybe something there? Maybe I should add something on that little note. And this gave me trouble for the longest time, but now, you can actually walk around in here. Couldn't do it before. You can't walk on the benches, because it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense to just walk through church pews. But here we have a nun. Hello. Bless you. Ah, don't do that, it burns. I hope you're having a fine day. Eh, it's alright, could be better. There is that whole waking up with nothing on shore of a place I don't recognize. But eh. Alright. Ooh, this place has seen better days. Walk through here and up that way. Yeah. Ooh, wow. Okay, that needs to be fixed. Wow, that's a problem. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's not good. Look at me! I'm up on the ceiling! Yay! Ah, hey, let me out of here. Nah. 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 Uh oh. Well, I'll be right. Wah, wah. And I'm off! Ha ha! Yeah, I need to fix that. <laughs> It contained 500 gold. I have money now! Of course, until we go to the shop, we don't know if 500 gold is a lot or a very little. Up in here we go. Yeah, another little warehouse. This place is not in the best of shape, but yeah, you know. Ooh, an elixir. A high potion. All right. Well, what do you say we go to the store and get some equipment? So that, you know, the lead character isn't completely helpless, unlike the other two. <laughs> Alright, got this guy. I can't interact with the armor. Welcome, stranger. Looking for some arms? Yes, yes I am. Okay, and here we have a list of all the different equipment. We have a hand axe, we have a sword. It just occurred to me, I have this sword in here, and I don't believe any of the party members can actually use swords. This might be something to get rid of. Uh, the knife, we have a mace, we have a flintlock. There we are. For anybody that doesn't know, as it says there, antique pistol. So we're giving our guy a gun. Got casual clothes. Well, that would add one to Ralph's armor. The bandana would add one. Like I said before, he can't wear the robe or the brace. The leather mail would add five, so that seems like it'd be the better choice. The cap would add four. Go on down, the chain mail adds eight. The chain helm adds six. He can't use a buckler shield. So we're going to give him the best items here. The chain mail. The chain helm. I may actually go in and tweak these prices, too. Because it seems kind of weird to have them co all cost the same thing when some of them protect a lot better than others. You'd think the ones that protect better would cost more. So uh, that might be something I want to adjust. But for now we have our equipment. So back out of this. Stop by any time! Of course, I'm giving you money. Equipment. Now you could go in and equip them one at a time. But I like this optimize button. Gives you the best available equipment for, that your character can use, anyways. And we back up. Now everybody is armed and ready to go. Now we could head out out into the world and start shooting stuff and have fun. But we'd be in trouble if we got injured because we don't have a healer in the party yet. 
And we don't have any kind of healing potions. So we're going to go up into the item shop. Here we have this nice old lady with a... I don't know what that is, a bandana or something on her head. Welcome, need some supplies? And there we go. We have our health potion, our high potion, which is what we picked up in the warehouse. As you can see, that heals a whole lot more, and it's a lot more than what we have in health. Uh, there's our antidote, treats poison. We have our cure-all. Uh, it's not literally a cure-all. It doesn't heal your, your health, too, but it gets rid of any status ailments that you have. And then there's the mana potion, which we can't afford at the moment. That recovers magic when it's used up. But for now, we're going to grab some health potions. Four is all we can afford. Now we're out of money again. It's all right. Won't need any anytime soon, hopefully. Have a nice day. We have everything that we can get out of the town for now. So it's time to move on. Up here and around here. Let's go to this little tower. So now we can wander around on the grass. This place has seen better days. Wow. I might make that little map interactive for now. The creek contained a potion. Okay, so I got five potions now. And now we're here. Now they said to go to this Nuon Mountain. And Nuon Mountain is this way. And here we have our first battle. Hornets. Kind of seems unfair to take them on with a gun, a wizard. <laughs> We're just gonna hit him with his staff and a warrior with an axe. Tough hornets. Go on through them again and dead. All right, moving on. Go over here and oop. Oh, oh, we have a barbarian. Now these guys, I'm trying to figure out a way to tweak them because this fight, as you'll notice, is not super easy. He does a decent amount of damage when he hits us, and we can't take him down in one salvo. Or even two, apparently. There we go. Hey! Ralph is now level two. Maxwell is level two. Rashawn is level two. Ever levels for everybody! <laughs> then we get over here and. Hey, wait! Did you hear something? Nope. Then. Another barbarian. As you notice, uh, you can't see my finger here, but as you notice, their uh, their health and everything is at full. So I've got this programmed in so that when you level up, it heals everything. It should get rid of all the status ailments too. So uh, yeah, that. So rather than having to just constantly use your healing potions, all you gotta do is manage to level up. You're good to go. So for now, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this guy again. Pardon me while I take a drink. Alrighty. Oops, missed. That's not good. The barbarian bites the dust, and now everybody's level three. And then we have this another rundown watchtower. Crate contained a simple bow. Huh. Deer can use a bow. All right. Up there. Hey, wait a minute. Okay, that I heard. 
I need to add in a little animation of this guy running across the map to get to them, but I'm not quite sure how to do that with this event. Wow, oh, you guys move fast. And you are? My name's Jasper. I heard you guys in town. You plan on entering New Alm, right? That would be why we're standing in front of it. I need to adjust that. Oh, right. Anyways, can I come along? I don't know you, Halfley. No need to be rude, Max. My name is Maxwell. Anyways, why do you want to join our merry little band? Well, I was planning on searching them out myself, and I heard you lot were going in, so I figured safety in numbers, right? Makes sense to me. You guys okay with this? <sighs> I suppose I have no objections. Just have one question. Can you fight? I can handle myself well enough. Good enough for me. All right, then. Welcome aboard, Jasper. Great. And poof. We now have four. Whoops, and another barbarian to fight. <laughs> Wandered around a little bit too much on that. Jasper, attack! Jasper doesn't do a lot of damage. There we go. Barbarian dead. Jasper leveled up. Now let's take a look at Jasper, shall we? It says he's a thief. I wonder... Can he use... The bow! Look at that, he can. Poof. Now hopefully, he'll be better in a fight. Alright, let's go into the mountain. New all mountain. We should add some dialogue here at the entrance. Instead of just wandering around here. Bats! No need for magic, we'll just pulverize them. Easy enough. Alright, moving along. Oop, another fight. More bats. Alrighty. Some glass bottles are buried here. What did we just get? Five more health potions. Alright. We're swimming in them now. He seemed to be coming up pretty frequent, but honestly, it's just, it's random. You know, every step there's a chance of a fight, but, you know, I've got frequency set fairly low. It's just, it's kind of a small environment. There we have a gold pile. Hey, this isn't gold, it's just iron pyrite. Hold on, there's something buried here. Mana potions were found. Hey, we got a person. Over here. Yep. Cobalt. I gotta switch out that graphic because uh, this is the best they had in the game. But I need something that looks more like an actual cobalt. So, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Just take these guys down, see if we can take them in a physical fight. That wasn't so tough. <coughs> uh, Jasper's now level three. 
Hey, is somebody out there? Thanks, I can't believe I got myself locked in this room. Princess, what are you doing in here? Jasper, I'm glad to see you. Princess? My name is actually Alexandra. I'm the daughter of the King of Ornalum. Mind if I tag along with you guys? I get lost in here so easily. Of course, Your Highness. Yes, I'm okay with it. Absolutely. A beautiful woman is always welcome in addition to an adventure. Max will just try and hitting on her. <laughs> I'm cool with it. The more the merrier. Thanks, everyone. Alexandra joined the party. Poof. Where'd she go? One thing I've noticed in this, and it's cool because you really don't want your uh, string of NPCs to get too long, but here we have the four that you can see. If you go to this formation option, scroll on down here, and there we have our cleric. That's good. We can use a cleric. She can heal. For now, we don't need anybody to heal, so we're good. We'll leave it like it is. Oh, okay, I need to switch that off. It's not supposed to trigger twice. Orc emerged! We have an orc! Take him down! And he's still standing. Missing, that's not good. I have to resort to magic. There we go. Jasper took him down. Cool. Ralph level 4, Max level 4, Marshawn level 4, Alex level 2. Yeah, I switched it on so that uh, even when they're not at, in your active party, the other characters still gain experience. Go here. More kobold. Take him down, take him down. that. And that patch of ground looks out of place. Hey, what's this? A bottle? Revival potions! These will actually revive someone that has fallen in battle. Seriously? I could use some of this back home. And now we have a way to resurrect our dead allies, or unconscious ones. We have a skeleton. Fight, 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 fight! Ugh. And they are apparently very tough, so we're going to resort to magic. Still standing. Alright. There we go, took him down. Jasper level 4, Alexandra level 3, she now knows Cure. So now she can actually heal ailments. Moving on. Fight him! We got a drop on him. hole in the ground with a ladder. Stuff in here. Nothing. Nothing there. Scorpions! They look mean. Oh. 
Not good when they miss. Fallen in the pit and broke his neck. Not the way I'd want to go out. Well, I don't think he'll miss these. We got an antidote. 500 gold. Meeting dead bodies. Alright, moving on. Ooh, here we have a big room. Statue. Statue has a hollow compartment. On a thousand gold. On iron armor. Cool. I don't know who that goes to, but... Apparently, goes to Ralph. When did I pick up the iron helmet? I don't remember that. Hmm. Skeleton. Fight, fight, fight! Something hidden under the bones. Found a circlet and a silk cloak. Hmm. Who could wear a cloak, I wonder? Oof. There we go. He's optimized. Moving on. Well, first we have combat. Hey, another battle. At least it was a quick one. And we have a statue. This is real equipment. On a shield, on a battle axe. I know who can use the battle axe. There we go. Oh, first we gotta fight an orc. Now obviously, um, when I start adding in the better graphics and that, the monsters are gonna get switched out, so because of that some of the dialogue might have to change. But, uh, I actually like this orc design, but depending on what texture pack I end up getting, it might not match up with the art style. And if that's the case, I'll have to swap that out. But, in the meantime, we have, oop, Jasper gained a level. Cool. Something holy and human turns its gaze on you. Yeah, that's creepy. Gazers. Fight him. Drain my health. Sorry, I got an itch. There we go. Hey, 
Hey, all right. Six, level six, level six. Alex is level five. She's catching up. What were those things? I've never seen a gazer before. You're not from around here, are you? You could say that. Never mind. Can we get going now? Oops. Another battle. Stairs. Ooh. A little patch of ground to explore. Where'd so many very perfectly good weapons? On a flail and a magic staff and a longbow. Haha. -ha. So we have magic staff. Goes there. Longbow. Goes there. Flail. Goes to her. Alright. Orc! I gotta figure out why the background is doing this weird sort of. I don't know what that is, psychedelic kaleidoscope thing. There's an actual picture that's supposed to be showing behind them, but it's doing this weird design for some reason. Another orc. I guess Marshawn wanting to kill off orcs, he's getting his wish, isn't he? Bridge. Into here. Oh, where are we at? Another orc! I originally had this set up where you're getting a group of orcs, and they're just getting slaughtered by them. So uh, I had to reduce it to a single orc. Just to give the group of fighting chance. Tendra is now level 6. Cool. Oi! <laughs> yeah, the problem with random encounters is... Every step, literally, is a chance of one of them. It's just obviously the more steps you take, the better your odds of ending up in a fight. But for now, taking these guys down. Terrifying beast emerges, blocking your exit. Chimera. Now this is our first major fight in the game here. That's a pretty tough cookie too. Paralyzed, paralyzed. Paralyzed two of them. Unfortunately one of them was the wizard. <laughs> Ice breath! Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Camera just plain attacks and does a ton of damage. Attack. Attack. No crap. Took down Jasper. Uh, 
Okay. Well. I want to attack him, but I need Jasper back up, because uh, otherwise I'm in trouble if somebody gets down. So we'll use the revival potion on him. Thankfully, he didn't paralyze Marshawn, because that would have been bad. Time to blast with some magic there. Attack. Jasper, you heal yourself. And there we go. Ow, 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 ow. Good thing he healed himself. Wait, I just had the wizard attack. We don't want that. We want magic. There we go. Ow. Hey, we took him down. All right. Ralph is level 7. Max is level 7. Marshawn level 7. Jasper level 7. Well, that was invigorating. No kidding. A chimera! We were lucky to escape with our lives! I'd prefer to think of it as skill. Alright, moving on here. We got this metal looking chest here. It just contains an unusual looking belt. What did we pick up? Back to our main guy here. War God's belt. Belt in, metal belt engraved with the war god's name. And in case you missed out on what it did, it added 10 to the attack power. So, Ralph's going to start kicking a lot more butt. So, no sage. I wonder where he ran off to. I would suggest we keep heading south. Perhaps someone in the next town has seen him. Good idea. My castle's along the southbound road. I can tag along till we get there if you don't mind my company. And I go where the princess goes. Alright then, off we go. And we're back out here in the main map. Now we've got a couple of options. We could head straight south, explore down there. We would head off to the right, or to the east rather. And uh, head back to that road and head down there for a safe passage to the next town. <sighs> go back into the first town and sell some stuff and get some more equipment. But for now, I'm actually going to go down here. What's down here? Ah, oh, some more stuff. Yeah, here. Oh, wow. Okay, I need to fix the passability of that. Actually, not supposed to be able to walk on that. <laughs> Cobalts. Jotting down notes of what needs to be fixed. Uh, let's see here, real quick, just jotting some stuff down. And this is why we do playthroughs. <laughs> I'm looking for a new one. Trigger in front of Alex's cell. All right, got that all taken care of. Down tower. What's in this? Elixir. Random encounter, more kobolds. Now 
now she's up to level 7. She's caught up with them. And we have a volcano. Look at this place. Flowing lava. I am boil blood the merciless. Many challenge me all lose. Fighting me will not end well for you. Are you sure you wish to challenge me? Huh? <laughs> no, big dragon. Wise choice. Here's a reward for your wisdom. You need five thousand gold, dang. Five elixirs. Now, if you do fight him, um, you're probably gonna die. <laughs> but besides that, uh, all that you get is what you get for beating him. You don't get the elixirs, you don't get that massive amount of gold. Do that there. I'm gonna go ahead and since we can do this, walk across here. Imps! Now, the toughness of this fight obviously indicates we should not be this far south just yet. But, we are winning, so, there's that. There we go. Ooh, the lava's still going. I need to change that. Miss Relax! Yeah, we basically just doubled Marshawn's attack power. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Oh boy! Uh, I honestly don't know how tough this is gonna be. Got rid of one of them. Oh, Ralph's hurting. Good to know that wears off. Alright, beat him. A little late, a little late, a little late. Come on. Ugh.
Alrighty. Up to the town. Let's head in here. Girlon. Have these nice fancy houses. This is what we call a wealthy town. Holy crap, that's. Ouch, that's not good. Hmm. I need to fix this. I shouldn't be able to walk on that. off up the wall here. <laughs> la la la. Her her. <laughs> oh boy. Daddy says not to talk to strangers. He just talked to me saying that. And Mom just walked up the wall. No big deal. Hi there. Interesting novels. Maybe later. Isn't this just the most beautiful dress? Uh, not really my style, but thanks. Yeah, I guess it's cool. Alright, nothing particularly useful in there. Let's, did I actually check any of the... I didn't check any of the, the dressers. Nothing. 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 Alrighty. On. No, since I'm here, let's go to the weapon shop. Welcome, I have a nice selection of weapons for sale. What are you looking for? Yar, I'm a pirate. <laughs> okay, battle axe, no, 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 no. Oh, there we go. We have an upgrade on the weapon for Ralph. Longbow, we already have. Don't need a bardish. Felchin. Crossbow, there we go. Staff. Oh, oh, Dragoon. Alright. Let's re equip everybody. We got the weapons. Let's move on. This is a weapon shop. We have an armor shop. Hello there. Care to upgrade your armor? Yar. <laughs> we seem to have a lot going around here. We'll go all the way to the bottom and work our way back up. The night shield from Marshawn. Oh, that took everything. Okay, let's optimize some equipment and then go back and sell. Optimize. Alright. Optimize. Alright. Optimize. 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 Alright. Now we can go ahead and sell all the stuff we're not using.
Not nearly enough. Wow. Much of the really good stuff. I'm gonna make do here. Got an iron helm for Marshawn. Iron armor for Marshawn. And now I am out of money again. We'll bring this up. We'll optimize Marshawn's equipment. There we go. And even though that was a lot of money, it ran out fast. <laughs> have to come back later to get the rest of the equipment. Uh, there's that passability issue again. Alright, moving on. Didn't go in here. Uh, what's this? Let me just show you my wares. We have boosts to our stats. Stop back in anytime you need to pick me up. And we got another house here. You want to have your fortune told? No, I didn't. Go away. Sorry, I prefer not to talk to people I don't know. Well, screw you too, buddy. Best to leave these here. <laughs> here we have another inn. Could stay at it, but I don't really need to, so moving on. Down here, we have a house. Joshin, you say? Oh, we got a lead! I've heard the name. He's a sage of some renown. Why do you seek him? I understand he studies dimensional portals. I just had some questions I wanted to ask him on the subject. Interesting. You look more like a warrior than a scholar. It is for my own studies, actually. Ah, I see. That makes a bit more sense. Have you seen him? Yes, Joshin came through here a few days ago. I do believe he said he was headed through the underground to study some unusual energies. The underground? The easiest way through there would be pro would probably be the pit just west of the main road. Thank you. You have been most helpful. You are quite welcome. Hope you find what you're looking for. Cool, we got a lead. Let's see, I wonder if I can read the books. Nothing but textbooks. Nothing but textbooks. Alrighty. Right up here. The Inner Isles. Alrighty. Nothing there. Time to move on. actually got quite a few potions. I think we're okay on the potions. Come back to this guy later, maybe. A little butterfly. Okay, not very talkative. Mana potions. Here we go. I'm afraid I don't have time to talk. I don't think he'd be too happy if we took his valuables. <laughs> Says the thief. <laughs> Go 
Nobody home here. Hmm. Another one with nobody in it. Chest containing 500 gold. Eh, start. Oh, we have a warehouse. It contains cure all. Huh. Oh, sorry, yawning again. There, nope, man. Okay. Not there. Pleased to meet you. Okay. And they got a crate for a dresser. <laughs> Not exactly wealthy. Alrighty. I've been thinking about possibly making these gravestones interactive. I need to click on them, get different names and that, but I'm not really sure how you'd manage that considering how close together I've got them. But, uh, you know, there'd be no way to stand here and get information off of that one and different information off of that one. So, yeah, it's, it's going to the really big house. I didn't want to talk to you. Well, pfft, snooty, isn't she? Hey, water! Yay! Let's go swimming! <laughs> Anyways. Got their own little pool, apparently. Hey, look, there's another one! Swimming! Yay! Okay. Almost makes me wish I knew how to play. Alright, anyways, moving on. Up the stairs. Oh, what do we have here? Ooh, that's a problem. That needs to be fixed. I can't get in there. Alright, I need to fix that. Small little list of stuff that needs to be fixed here. Alrighty. That can't get in there either. Okay. Yeah, that's just annoying. You just expand that at least one more space so you can get through there. Alrighty. Here we have what is apparently the top floor. Let me add some descriptions for these paintings. Storybook. Okay. You know, a book about the history of Regloff. Yeah, see, I can't get through those either. Hmm. Something's not quite right here. Alright then, back on down. And out of the mansion. Let's see what that extra money gave me. Do I have enough to buy something? I still need armor for some of these guys. Ooh. 
Whoa, sorry. Um. There's too many different shields here. Well. Okay, you need to remove the round shield. for it? Yes I do. Awesome. That's for Jasper. Really use an upgrade to his armor, that's for sure. Alright, let's go to Jasper. Equipment. Optimize. There we go. Much better. Sell. Not enough to buy anything else. So that takes care of that. Alright. Well that is pretty much this town. So we're going to go on from there. And here we have Castle. Nellum Castle. This was once my home. Mine too. What happened to it? Oh, yeah. Um, that needs to be fixed. We are kicking their butts now. Scorpions aren't hard at all anymore. A treasure chest. 2,000 gold. Well, that'll come in handy. Ooh, ghosts. Nothing 
nothing but dust. Ah, figures. Maybe I need to adjust the uh, encounter frequency in this. Somebody's poisoned. But now we got two skeletons to deal with. All right. Fight! 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 Hut! 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 There we go. No treasure. Thank <laughs> you. 
moved her. Let's go ahead and heal him. My castle now, all invaders will perish. Defeat. Let's see what happens if we use one of his skills. Let's go full auto. water does against him. Nice! Alright! That was a good one. Room blade. Is there a plate fail? Alpha's now level 11. Maxwell's 11. Marshawn's 11. Jasper's 11. Alexandra's 11. Everybody leveled up there. What happened here? The master. Master of the Tower. She. Damn, wait, did he mean the Tower of the South? It's been empty for years! Something tells me it isn't anymore. How about we pay this Master a visit? And that's a plan. Who? Maxwell the War God's belt. Um, he doesn't need it. He's kind of a, uh, you know, a wizard. Let's give that War God's belt to somebody that can use it. Like him. Alright. Nothing 
change there. Nothing change there. Alright. Well, folks, that'll do for now. That's a good spot to save it, I think. I'm going to go ahead and save over the old file. That was my initial playthrough. Alright. We're going to end this for now. Alright. That was the Wrath of Solista. It is, uh, you know, it's a work in progress. There's still quite a few little bugs to work out. But that was what I would call an alpha build of it. If not an, an early alpha. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, stop this and go straight to work on that getting those little errors and glitches fixed and i will see you guys next time a little bit more of the game and uh see see where we're going from there thanks for anybody that was watching and i'll see you later Bye bye